Hey designers, what's going on? My name is Fam MD and I'm a UX UI designer in Toronto. And today it's gonna to be a short, a very, very short video. Something that I came across and I thought, hey, you know what? Why don't I share it with you guys? Cause it could save a lot of time when you're designing in Adobe XD. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so let me dive into it right away. At least that way you guys will be able to understand exactly what I'm trying to show you and how it's going to save a lot of time. So as you can see right here, I have my Adobe XD open, obviously. So I'm going to show you an example of using one object which is currently locked. So I'm going to unlock that and this one right here. So let's just move this outline right over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust this object for one second so I can show you guys a better example. So let's do this and borderline say three. This one at the back, let's remove the drop shadow. So the only thing you can see is just a gray outline. That's it with a white background. Okay, so, so now going back to the, the first object layer, right over here. So since I have the outline here and I have the drop shadow, let's just increase the drop shadow. By the way, this is just an example that I'm showing you. So I hope you understand where I'm coming from at the end. So I'm gonna right click right over here and copy, okay? Of course, all the shortcut keys are on the right hand side. So if you're using a Mac or a PC, please learn them. It's much better instead of having to right click every single time. So in this case, I'm just going to do it the old fashioned way. So I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna zoom out, now check this out. Remember, the only thing in this object right over here is a white background and a gray outline, that's it. So now I'm gonna right click here, click on paste appearance. Once I do that, whatever I have added in this object, it will, be, it will automatically be added here. So check this out, right click, boom. See that? So I didn't have to manually um, create a new outline, a new drop shadow, nothing like that. It was just a one click away. So if I want, I can do it here, the same thing. Right click. Oops, I think this is like locked. First, I gotta, oh, there we go. Okay, so right click, paste appearance, same thing. So I can do the same thing. You can literally use this effect any object you want. So look at that, see? So imagine if you have to select uh, multiple objects, you can do that and then just right click, paste appearance, and there you have it. It's a very neat trick. I don't know if um, there are videos about this. Heck, I don't even know what title I should name this video. So if you are a true subscriber and you clicked on this video to check this out, then hey, guess what? You are about to save a lot of time in your video. And that's it, that's all I got today. I am going to edit this video and think of a catchy title so I can get, so I can form a lot of designers actually, like ourselves to uh, use, use this trick. Until then, I'll see you guys in, in my next video. If you liked today's video, please like it. Subscribe if you have not, welcome. And uh, click on the bell icon so you, so you get notified every time I upload a video. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. I think I already said that. Until then, yeah. Okay guys, peace out.